Hi guys, welcome to Food and Living. Today I'm going to show you glimpses of Bhutan as we saw it as visitors uh, to Bhutan. Bhutan is uh, called as Kingdom of Clouds. It is mountain biking, fishing and if you are into wellness there are many activities for visitors seeking a place of solace, rest and recuperation. Bhutan is notable for pioneering the concept of gross national happiness and the views I think are a must die for. The view was something spectacular and as we went through land I think that was a great great uh, addition and that makes the travel even more memorable as you can see uh, it started becoming very very cloudy and started becoming chilly the mountains and the greens were very fresh warm and welcoming and the restaurants again the home style restaurants were very nice with the great food and great varieties too tea coffee rice noodles Momos, everything was like Maggie, of course, Maggie too. It was tasty and stomach filling. So, food is also not a problem in Bhutan. You can get wide variety of food and many restaurants also. And once we had we were done with our uh, lunch, it was start it started raining, and the climate was like this. As you can see, I think the camera is not doing justice here anyway. But it was really nice, this view.
pack your clothes and plan your visit according to the climate and according to the activities you want to take up in Bhutan and also the local currency is Gultrum and uh, even Indian currencies uh, are accepted there so you can easily carry Indian currencies and uh, for the, your travel during your travel and the official language is Zonkha and people are also well versed with English so you can speak English and then manage during your stay. Bhutan is free of class or caste system and has maintained general gen, gender equality. The places which you could visit is Thimphu, Punaka, Paro. to stay in homestay and these villas will be very affordable and a great option and the view I think is something spectacular this was the early morning view and what you saw previously was the night view as soon as we just checked into the hotel in Bhutan they start their day very early and they kind of close it down also very early so you have to have your dinner much earlier at before I would say before 8 before 7 or 8 we could get from rice to dal to chapati and uh, upma so food was not at all a problem here and these greens I tell you were something to die for just so nice festivals throughout the year so plan your travel during a certain festival so you could witness um, colorful dances with masks and elaborate costumes with uh, Bhutanese dressed in their traditional attire which is a to total travel attraction the Paro festival was going on and uh, you can see the view here all the Bhutanese locals dressed in their local attire and this was the mask dance which was happening in the Paro festival.
the great geographical diversity combined with equally diverse climate conditions contributes to Bhutan's outstanding range of biodiversity and ecosystems with varied flora and fauna. And you can also witness lots of birds and animals in the forests and you can also go trekking and also see Takin Reserve Forest. Uh, Takin is an interesting animal and is a mix of mountain goat and cow and it is interesting to know how it came to life. And these are the government uh, buildings, government being parliamentary democracy and the head of the state is King of Bhutan, also called as the Dragon King. Bhutan is a land of steep and high mountains crisscrossed by a network of swift rivers forming deep valleys before draining into Indian plains. You can also enjoy the traditional dress where you can get it for rent and then wear it and click great pictures. So that is something you should uh, definitely try. You can also try archery there and rafting, kayaking and uh, such adventure sports too. Tiger's nest if you're opting for trekking. We could not because we were traveling with toddlers and it was very difficult for us to go trekking. So we, did, we opted out of it. But if you can then it is a must. Also there are these local um, artisans who sell um, souvenirs and uh, local handicraft items which I think uh, are at a much cheaper price than than the handicraft stores so it is a good idea to buy it there and this was the market filled with handicraft stores and lot of products which were handmade Buddha Dordenma statue which is made of bronze and was built to bestow peace and harmony in the world is a must visit place and also you can click great pictures here.
can take your own photo postcard from the Thimpu post office. So do do try that. And this makes the end of our trip. And hope you like the video. And please do subscribe to the channel Food and Living. And uh, uh, stay tuned for more interesting videos. And follow me on all the social media.